The environment that we live in is based on a fractal geometry, not the geometry that we all learned in school, which was called Euclidean geometry. And to give you a simple example of that is make nature using Euclidean geometry. When we were five, we did. We made a tree that was a column with a ball on the top. And that is about as close to Euclidean geometry in nature as you can get. The reality is nature is not programmable. You can't make nature filling in a, a Euclidean geometry equation. However, fractal geometry, a newer understanding of geometry, it represents a, uh, uh, that nature is built on self-similar patterns built on top of each other. So it's like the concept they talk about of Rus Russian nesting dolls, where you open up one doll and there's another doll inside, and then you open that one up and there's another doll, and they're all, they're not exactly the same, but they're self-similar and they all are one on top of the other. Nature is built on this, this understanding. The relevance is this, this is why if you understand how a cell works, you understand how a human works, because a human is a cell reincarnated in the sense that there's all the functions in a human body are already present in every living cell. So cell, we were programmed after the cells. The relevance of that is that when we evolve, we become cells in a larger structure called humanity. And as cells evolve, as animals evolve, so will humanity evolve. It, it's a pattern, and it's a self-similar pattern, very different than the nature of Darwinian theory, which is based on random mutations, that everything is an accident, that it's not. So the old axiom, as is above, as is below, becomes a geometry of nature. So if you understand any level of the structure, you automatically have insight into every other level of the structure. The point about it simply is this. Inside of our bodies are, are approximately 50 trillion cells. What's the relevance is that we think of ourselves as a singularity when that's farthest from the truth we are. By scientific definition, we are a community of 50 trillion sentient cells. I used to culture these cells, take them out of your body, put them in a culture dish, and the relevance about that is that these cells have their own intelligence. They grow in a petri dish. You don't have to tell them how to do anything. They know how to grow, divide, form all the things they're supposed to do. They're innately intelligent. And the relevance about that is, think about this issue, that we're having trouble right now with about six and a half billion people trying to get them to live on the entire surface of the planet that within your body right now are 50 trillion sentient individual living cells in a matrix <laughs> that represents a nation. And the, the old mystics would say the answers lie within or seek within for the answers. And they ask, the fact is this, if you understand the dynamics of how 50 trillion cells can live in the smallest environment under your skin, in harmony, in bliss, because if you're in bliss, so are they. If you can understand how 50 trillion entities can live in this harmony, all the rules are there for a few billion people to live on the planet.